our last macromolecule that we're going to talk about is nucleic acids. Oh, what are nucleic acids? Well, nucleic acids are made up of a nucleotide, which is the subunit, and it's kind of shaped like a dinosaur. So we say that this is the structure of the nucleic acid. What do you mean with structure? Structure just means shape. So oh. we kind of say it's like a dinosaur. It's got three parts to it. It's got um, the nitrogenous base right here. Okay, that's the big piece. It kind of looks like the body. Okay, this little five-sided object right here, that's the sugar. Okay, and then up here, the purple one, that's our phosphate group. So we say it kind of looks like a dinosaur. Okay, so the next part, this is the subunit, and we also call subunits a monomer. So this is also considered the monomer of the nucleic acid. And these are made up of a few different elements, actually, more than any of the other macromolecules we've talked about so far. So we've got carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, because those are always in all of these. This one has nitrogen, which we saw was in the proteins as well, and phosphorus. Remember that phosphate group up here? That has some phosphorus in it, okay? So that's C-H-O-N and P. So, next I'm going to tell you about the function of the nucleic acid. Oh, what is the function? Um, function is just its job. It's oh. what it does for us. And what it does is it controls our genetic information for us. And it can send it out to different parts of our cells and spread that genetic information. So, this is a monomer, but have you ever seen anything looks like this? In well, it's before? very complex. It is. It's a complex molecule. But if you notice, if you look at these closely, it's all these little pieces bound together. Can I see your dinosaur? Yes. All right, so if we look at this, these are matched up perfectly. And so in the middle, they can bond, and they can also bond on the sides. And we call this a ladder. And this is DNA, which you might remember from middle school science. You've seen this before. Okay, and this is a polymer. Remember we said poly means many? So when we connect them together, it's a big complex molecule. It's also a polymer. Now there's two types. We just talked about DNA. Okay, um, do you remember what DNA's job is? DNA's job is to code for genes. It's to code for genes, okay? So it, it has all this information in there. Now, if we take this apart, and we also switch a couple things around, and we'll talk about that more in, in a different unit, um, we have what's called RNA. And it's, got, it's called RNA partially because it has a different sugar in it. So, but it still has a very similar structure, and the RNA's job is to transfer the information around. Okay? So DNA carries genetic information, RNA transfers it around. This is a nucleotide. It's a monomer of the nucleic acid DNA. Many monomers are joined together to form the polymer in the spy molecule DNA, seen here in its double helix shape. This is the structure of a nucleotide of DNA. Notice the phosphate group, the base, and the sugar. Number one. The DNA double helix is the polymer. Number two, this is the monomer of the nucleic acid DNA. Three, monomers join together using chemical bonds.